Let's talk about Tanner McAllister, safety from Oklahoma State. He is taking his talents to Ohio State. He's going to follow Jim Knowles over there. Uh, this is what everybody has been worried about with the transfer portal, and that is uh, really, really good players leaving good teams to go be on these juggernauts, right? Uh, we talked about it with Eli Ricks uh, leaving LSU to go join Alabama. Uh, now you've got the same thing going on. Tanner McAllister, uh, really one of the best safeties in the country this season, and he's going to finish up with Ohio State. He's kind of proven and developed himself at Oklahoma State. He now goes up to Columbus, uh, going to go play for a national title. I, you know, I think obviously he loved playing for Jim Knowles. Nobody can fault him for that. But uh, but did you have a thought on this one? So this is nothing like Rick going to Alabama, by the way. I mean, absolutely nothing. Like no, I, I'm not talking about the, the circumstances. I'm talking just the he, overall scheme, right? A good player going well, yeah, to. Okay, good players are going to transfer. All right. Some of them are going to go to big boy schools that are really good and compete for national titles. Speaking of competing for national titles, uh, I believe Oklahoma State was closer to competing for a national title this year than uh, Ohio State. So I know I know nobody thinks that that's like sustainable or whatever, but let's let's remember that, okay? If they if they win against Baylor in the Big 12 championship game, which that was a really close football game, they are probably in the playoffs. All right. Yeah. So Ohio State wasn't near the playoffs at that point in time. Not 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 even considered. So let let's just let's just be real careful when we just start talking up W's to everybody. Now he's going to play for his coach that recruited him. Like that, I almost give a pass to for anybody. Like this is a guy that I that recruited me. This is a guy that you know I wanted to play in his system. Like he knows me. He knows what I'm good at. I had a lot of success under him. I, I would say the same thing for Caleb Williams, by the way, if he ends up in USC. Like, like that's not him leaving Oklahoma for USC. That is him going to play under the coach that recruited him, that he originally always thought he would learn under a play for. So, you know, whatever. It, it all works for me. Like, I, I think uh, going to play for the guy that uh, that has developed you and you're still, you know, prepping for the NFL and whatnot, I think it's a good move. So I, I like the move, and obviously it fills a, uh, a position of need for Ohio State. So they will certainly appreciate it as well. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.